Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from the top 16 of the Dathomir Galactic Championship Qualifier with the time zone based in London. We have 312 people watching from around the world live today. Thank you for joining us. This match, we got Tim Open versus Tom Fieldstein. Should be a great matchup. Now, for all of the Galactic Championship qualifiers, we are doing community team-ups. And this round, we're teaming up with Duke of Hobbies. How's it going, Duke? Now, I, for I forgot to mention last round. Sorry, sorry about that. Where can people find you normally? Oops, I made I made a I made a, I made a oopsie. Sorry, I realized the people cannot hear you. Wrecked. Huh. <laughs> hi, hi, Duke. Hi, Duke. <laughs> hey, Dion. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I was like, wait, why, why can't why can't the people hear you? Because I forgot to switch the audio setting. Where can people find Duke of Hobbies? Well, everyone can find me uh, on Twitch or even uh, YouTube uh, with Duke of Hobbies. But I am the kind of the main master recorder for Steel City Squadron. So uh, take a look at the Pittsburgh group of X-Wing players and you'll find me there with along of a host of other um, amazing players and your whole group of awesome friends. Fantastic, fantastic. So um, this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curlpaw Creatives. Use coupon code DATHAMIR2020 for 20% off. And we should be good now. All right, Duke, go ahead and break down this matchup. All right. On the right side with Tom, fine resistance. We got ourselves Ray fully loaded here with heightened perception, Finn, Rose, Corsella, and the Ray Falcon title. A really fit, thick, tack focused Ray. Um, heightened perception, we obviously won't see play in this matchup, but it is great in against other aces. Uh, followed up that by two other I-5s. Uh, tally with heroic marksmanship, advanced optics, and a proton rocket. Again, being able to dish out a ton of damage with and consistent firepower. And then ZZ, the classic Kurt favorite of all the A-Wings out there, uh, or ZA-2s, with heroic marksmanship, advanced optics, and Magpulse Pulse Warheads. Uh, an interesting combo there with ZZ. I like it. Uh, I'm really excited to see how he wants to use that. So this list is this list is amazingly da damage focused, and I love it too because I'm a big resistance fan. Um, on the left there, we got uh, for Tim Mo. Uh, we have three trade federations with Discord missiles, uh, and then two bombardment drones with those prox mines. So those bombard bombardment drones, uh, if they want to drop a device, they can launch it instead using the same template. So they can throw those prox really early on right in a ship in front of them and do quick, quick, easy damage instead of dropping it backwards. Uh, and then General Grievous to bring up the rest of the team being either a strong distraction with quick shot uh, or crack shot and Solus one or uh, forcing you know everyone to you know, uh, turn away from him and you know keep being able to trigger Grievous's ability. So this is a really interesting matchup between these two lists. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this ends up shaking out. Uh, Tom having a three ship list versus a what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six ships. Um, we got actually our first engagement here. This I believe this is ZZ versus Grievous. So let's see how this shakes out before we go too far. Uh, we got one hit. Probably spends the focus, I'm guessing, because you get the evade afterwards. Just waiting for that trigger. Nope, just going to leave it at one hit. And got enough, no problems, and that will trigger ZZ's ability. And there you go, you see the charge flip, takes the evade. Now it's fully modified, guarant not guaranteeing necessarily, but just making sure not to take uh, too much damage, especially because you have, might have multiple shots coming in. And spends the focus for one. Maybe could end up... Uh, Making it so that ZZ has to spend an evade. Not this time. Able to roll one. Didn't roll enough dice, but not a big deal. Yeah, it was five. 
Sure, roll extra for funsies. Here we go. <laughs> we might have a uh, range for the drone, that uh, brown drone as well. We'll see if uh, if Tim ends up taking it. And Tom made the right call not spending that focus there for sure. Uh, this allows him to prevent that uh, early damage that you can see sometimes in these games where that range three obstructed shot does go through. So this is just a guarantee. Keep uh, ZZ full health. Get him ready for mid-game play. Yep, and there is the two dice, two hits, and got enough evades there. Nothing else is in range. Now, what I was going to mention earlier is in this 3v6 matchup, I know a lot of times having more ships feels good, but um, this this is a case where the A-Wings have really great tools against the Vultures. The Vultures' biggest strength is their area control, and when traditional ships, front arc ships, have to... Uh, have to joust off with them they're able to cover ground block really easily i'm sure there are discord missiles in this list yes there are but these a-wings they don't have to play the same game that traditional front arc ships uh have to so what i'm expecting here is i know that ray traditionally likes to be in people's faces and doing uh you know do, doing what she does and and using her ability and all that but i'm i'm kind of expecting ray to just be be a traditional falcon more this turn saying you know what i don't have to over pursue because that's just going to get ray killed um save her for the end game and use her ability then when you only got maybe two three drones left uh if that's the case for tom uh but that that's what i would be looking to do if i'm tom in this matchup let the a-wings do a, a majority of the heavy lifting range control as you can and uh and go from there what do you what do you think duke yeah no i i agree there it, to follow up with that it, we called Ray the attack dog for the resistance and the point is yeah you you gotta hold her back yeah a lot of people want to make her super aggressive early on and it's actually kind of opposite you want to use her at the right time so you have to hold that dog back you got to hold her uh, her damage uh unfortunately a little bit longer against especially against these uh high swarms high, large number of swarms and then when you bring her in she's gonna go in and she's gonna take something out and mm -hmm. so, like, yeah, like you were saying, let those A's do most of this work. Set up Ray. And, you know, that could be, that could, you know, if, if T Tom is using these A wings right, I think he's taking off Grievous pretty quick. Or protecting Ray against those Discord missiles. She's the most vulnerable to them, uh, especially since she could take two crits in one round. Uh, they Those droids have an easier time catching Ray for sure with those uh, Discords. So, let those A's maybe take them out or just shut down Grievous for the game. And Ray will then come in and just wipe one or two ships off the board very quickly. Yeah, real quick here uh, to to Sperry. Uh, just go ahead and put a space in between Tim and Open there. It is Tim, space, capital O, Open. Um, just a... Uh, just a quick quick note there. Yeah, it's Tim, Tim and Tom. There we go. That's going to be fun. So you can see uh, Tim Tim is being uh, being aggressive here. I, 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 I like the speed on the uh, on these on these vultures, making sure to try to acquire those target locks. I'm a fan. So that you can yeah, set they, up this those is, this those drones. Yeah, this is also good field position control. You, you know, we see this with the droids a lot. They like to kind of get over here, take this one board edge early on, and then sweep across the board. Uh, you know, they don't. Uh, they all have struts, and so then he can kind of get in there and then like lock down an area if he if need be. So we can, you know, he's using that their ability and their formation flying to great effect here. Absolutely. Now, going into this round, um, I'm wondering with Grievous going in fast, taking the reposition of a barrel roll and focusing, who's he trying to catch? And there we go. There's Tally saying, you know, I, I don't have to face off with you. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my arc. Now, ZZ is landing right there. That looks to probably be range one from Grievous. Now, we'll take a second and look at Grievous's ability. So it says, while you perform a primary attack, if you are not in the defender's firing arc, you may reroll up to two attack dice. Because it does not say front firing arc, and it is just firing arc, as those A-wings are rotated to the back, that disables, completely disables, um, Grievous's ability there. Uh, there was Corsella removing all the stress tokens. I think that's what he just poked at. 
Yeah, he, he poked at it because he uh, used uh, uh, he he took a stress and went over a debris. It looks like so he was mm-hmm. able to. Like, I, I think he's saying or making sure he was aware that he can be able to clear that that stress yep. off pretty easily. Absolutely. All right, two evades, easy. Good call by Tim, though, with uh, Go and Grievous there. He's going to stay out of range, his uh, attack range, and got both of those uh, A-Wings to you know, be in arc, so making keeping Grievous as a threat out there. Yep, and Grievous will not have any defensive rerolls uh, here because, again, he has the enemy in the firing arc. So that's two damage off of that first one. Here's Grievous opportunity to do a range one attack. It's going to be four dice with a focus. He does have a couple, at least one other shot coming from Tally afterwards. We'll see if he gets aggressive here. Spending doesn't even have the choice. One hit only. Crack shot is available in the bullseye and not viable as there are two evades there. These A-Wings being able to shut down that Grievous ability is uh, is important because typically in this case, Grievous is thinking, well, I got I got you chased, so now I can you know maximize my damage output and not being able to you know be able to get those that free essentially target lock out there for him mm-hmm. is uh, is going to really impact Grievous's role in this matchup. So I would expect him uh, again. That's part of the reason why I like his early on position with these droids. He's going to use them, uh, you know, again, maybe in the reverse order of Ray, uh, let, let these be his attack unit. That's going to get in there uh, and really take out something uh, mid game here. Yeah. I like, I like the droids chances against Ray. Ray is not a fan of discords. Um, you know, you just go ahead, slap those on the front there, and Ray has no way to get rid of them as long as they're on the front. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how she how she does here. She, yes, we know that uh, Grievous' shield's down. We'll grab that in a second. Um, and we will uh, we'll see Rick. where the droids end up. I, I mean, they're going to be hard turning here, of course. I'm just curious to see whether whether we get the one hard because they all have landing struts, right? So they can they can be willy nilly with the obstacles as needed. I think the one hard tells you that they're probably going towards Ray, and any of the larger turns that they are going to maybe take a, a larger path uh, through through maybe a gap between the obstacles. Right, right. And, and the fact that, you know, we'll be seeing a lot of twos because of the fact that a couple of these guys, you know, these droids are stressed. So, uh, and probably if I think the telling sign will be if we see barrel rules back towards the middle. But I think what he wants to do is keep Ray away from the fight right now uh, more than anything with these droid swarms. So if Ray's just kind of circling and not being able to really engage all that well, then we probably won't see, you know, he's okay with that at this time because he if he can hunt those a wings down uh, or just keep them away from the droids all right so we're getting some barrel rolls and it looks like we're taking the outside path here with the barrel rolls keeping that edge hugged and this might be a way for the droids to respond to the positioning that ray ends up coming in in the next couple turns More barrel rolls yeah, and, again. And, 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 oh, yep. Yeah, doing these barrels also just keeping that good formation. That, you know, we we're talking network calculation is so important for these droids. Uh, without it, I don't think they'd be the strength that they are typically known for. Uh, but you know, again, great, great job getting these early locks with these droids. That, that might play into late end game stuff. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see how long Tim will keep Grievous uh, kind of overextended. Grievous chasing after these A-Wings uh, is not going to be too successful because of what we talked about. His abilities don't go off shooting at the back arcs when the A-Wings can shoot at the back. So I kind of want to see Grievous stick around, but it looks like he's going to continue continue the hot pursuit of these A-Wings and hope for some big dice. Move there, clears the stress. He could be setting up a potential block, but I think this block is not going to be... Enough to if like if he would have boosted there with Grievous, it would have been enough to keep 
uh, ZZ intact or you know in range of all those droids, mm -hmm. but because um, we ha we have to see a blue maneuver from ZZ at this point, and yeah, so this that that gives him that position, you know, it, not being able to even consider being blocked, which is important for ZZ, and just to continue firing down on uh, on, on Grievous from from both of those A's now. All right, so there's another another debris that has been hit. Again, Corsella makes it so that the stress leaves. Not a big deal. Pretty cool uh, interaction there with Corsella. It's after you execute a maneuver, and uh, nesting those those uh, those triggers make it so that Corsella can clear the stress from the debris. Ray's like, I got landing struts too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and it also allows you to against other engagements with like such as tractor and ensnare and everything. You can be more prepared uh, for those, so you get to bring these debris clouds, and that hinders those sh lists out there from you know getting something onto a rock. Um, it, granted, it's harder against the large base ship, but still doable. All right, so we have uh, blank and an eyeball for tally going into. Grievous not going to spend any of the modifiers there. And now here comes ZZ at range two, just outside of range one, and has the choice going to go ahead and spend the focus for two hits, probably take the evade with the ability. And Grievous is going to have to spend the focus to avoid taking damage. I, 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 I was expecting maybe to try and spend that focus. Um, I know that's the worst dice roll he could possibly get for those. The, the A wing, they're they're always looking at either for double blank or you know that hit blank, uh, hit focus. But uh, you know, you, I guess you I would have expected trying to force Grievous to spend it there, and he could have pushed a little more damage through with ZZ. But you know, ZZ's gonna or looks like he's going into the ZZ here. So yep, two hits and spends evade, no problem. And this is going to still be no shots from the droids right now. Nothing from Ray. So uh, kind of just a, this is a two versus one situation uh, here. But right. Grievous' style is open now. And something he something we missed swinging. here really quick. Hold on a second. Something we missed. I think did Grievous roll too many dice on the ZZ defense? No, he, he rolled, rolled two. I he ruled two and got two eyeballs. It was uh, tally was range three. Right, I'm just double checking. Grievous is at range three. He rolled three. ZZ checks for arc. Range two. Uh, red player rolled. Yeah, he rolled three dice. He did. Ah. Yep. Here, I'll go. I'll go talk to him real quick. Yep. Just have him re-roll the defense dice. It was, there was two hits okay. out there from ZZ. You know, it, you get caught up in the middle of a game. Yeah. You know, it's it's easy. One of those things. It's it's always good that we can kind of really track back. So you know, great use of the tools that we have here um, to be able to kind of double check those things uh, and keeping the game honest. You know, just or keep keeping the game the way we want it to be played, seen uh, accurately. So. Mhm. Mm yeah, and it's con it is confirmed in the chat that the red player uh, rolled three. So it's not a big deal. We'll just go back and re-roll it. Not a big. By the way, shout out to the TTS dev team. That's easy easy for us to check. All right, so got one and will take one damage on Grievous. The chat is always right. That is false. The chat is not always right. <laughs> I love you guys, but you guys are not always right. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, thank you. Thank you for the help there. Uh, lots of moving parts over here. Thank you, guys. You're always right when you're right. Everyone's always it's a good double d double check so so yeah. So you know you know what though you know what's really funny is uh, and and I, I always like to mention this once in a while when people are watching streams like mistakes like this happen all the time when people are playing X-wing all the time uh, extra uh, extra dice here extra token there like it's v there's so many moving parts in uh, in a game of X-wing and uh, it's. 
it's important, and I and I, I, I urge the people watching, and you, we have as a community have gotten really good, and I think I, I have encouraged you guys to be a little bit more understanding of players. Like when we find mistakes, we do it. Um, to any, maybe anybody who's newer at watching, don't always assume that the player is doing something malicious. There are mistakes, right? And then we also have to accept that when we're on the table, that. If if you're in a situation where you do make a mistake, it's not a big deal. Just go back, and uh, and go from there. So, just uh, just a little little PSA to always give a benefit of the doubt to the players uh, when mistakes like that happen because it, it's very easy. There's a lot of things going on the table. Uh, don't assume even in the finals. Don't assume that's because oh somebody yeah, made the final. I, I have definitely seen that comment. Oh this guy's in the finals. How could he have made that mistake? Listen. I have seen you guys, and when I say you guys, I mean like as a community, make so many errors, so many, including myself. It happens. We just got to keep on moving. But anyway, that didn't happen this time. This is kind of like a preemptive just in case for later. Remember. <laughs> uh, a couple people <laughs> no, it's, asked. It's true. Go ahead. Uh, that's why it's true, though. It's, it's easy. It happens. And so, you know, it, it's the nice thing that I think with 2.0, it's a testament of the fact that you can, you know, it's a little easier to do rewinding in, to, mm -hmm. in general, the way the game is split up. So it's a lot easier than what it was before. So, yep. A couple of people asking if the bets are still open. No, those closed, closed about t 12 minutes ago. Um, all right. So. The bombardment drones is kind of waiting time. You know, they have the remember those bombardment drones have the ability to drop those, excuse me, launch those proximity mines that they have. Uh, and I would guess that they want to give those to Ray. Like, Ray, here's a pizza pie. Here you go. Death pizza is what a, a, fr a good friend of mine, Jack from uh, Chicago, calls them. Uh, absolutely love the name. And Grievous <laughs> con continuing to be aggressive. Right. I, I, I like this call, too. I think, he, again, he's trying to shut down ZZ lanes. Um, and, you know, Tally's going to be, as we can see now, start to be in this position where it's pretty unfavorable for the boost. But, uh, Tim is doing a great job expecting certain moves here. Uh, so, you know, good good play by him. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think his shot output is going to be reduced this round for sure. Tom, <laughs> Tim and Tom, <laughs> easy Tim to go and back Tom, and yeah. forth. But the... this is this is good positioning again with Ray here. So he caught he caught Grievous for, with ZZ. Solus One will now be active, so he's going to be able to get that at least a reroll here. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's still range one from ZZ. Now, ZZ has a couple of, uh, he's spending the focus, has three drones facing him. I'm kind of surprised to see the focus expenditure. I know that you're going to get the evade, but there are three drones in range of ZZ, and you only got one evade, so we'll find out to see if that, uh, if that is the right choice in a second. All right, Ray. Checking for range does have some shots of an, un an obstructed shot on the green drone. Two hits, gaining the target lock. Here. Yep. I'm sorry. canceling that one blank to get that uh, target lock for next round. Yep. Gonna have to spend one of those calculates. Who's calculating going to take? Take his own. Yeah, that's the, that network calculation still, you know, you, you it, it, it comes down to bit good separatist player drone droid players know when to spend who's dro uh, calculate. Mm -hmm. So spending his own is smart there because those other droids on this attack from this droid in the ZZ, he can use blues for sure at range one, uh, possibly browns, but, uh, Blue and brown have access to reds, the, the bombardment drones calculate. So that's why it works out that timing of who to take that from. ZZ now forced to spend, spend that evade. Uh, so now these two droids can possibly put some damage in the ZZ. 
All right. And, ooh, okay. That's going to be half points on ZZ. As ZZ was looking to put that early, you know, some continue that in damage into Grievous, and now that's still going to be two hits here generated. That, that's that, using uh, his network calculation. Yep, his own and the other one, and we got enough there. So could have avoided giving up half points if the focus had not been spent on the attack. You know, of course, hindsight's twenty twenty. but you did have, when ZZ spawned the arc, you could see that you had those enemies in range. So learning opportunity there for uh, for players in the future. You got to consider the shots coming in as well. Uh, the A-Wings did have a lot of, do have a lot of maneuverability. I think uh, Tom could have afforded to hold on to the focus because those A-Wings need to be alive to do the work. Right, right. I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking right now, uh, Tim is actually ahead here, you know, only losing his shields off of Grievous right now. Tally, Tally's not going to be, you know, unless, unless we see an unexpected turn here, but it comes down, this is going to be a key turn for the game here. Uh, Tim has to make the decision. Continue to choose, chase those A's or completely turn this droid swarm right in the ray. Uh, i not sure which one he would go with right now because he's not looking at getting a lot of those discords off on Ray at this time. And those bombardment drones aren't really, they're kind of in a good spot to set up lane blocking with those proximity mines next turn, but that's. We're talking uh, two turns ahead here now. So they could shut off that, that right side of the board next to that debris cloud. And again, it also depends on what Tom does here. Tom has options with that blue two bank can still go over that debris cloud, clear all that stress with Corsella, and then just take a focus uh, if need be, or boost it, it, to get it out of all those arcs uh, with Ray. So there, there's a good chance, you know, this could be a big miss for Tim. So I, I, I personally think that we're going to see Tim push down that bo edge of the board and try and trap in those A-wings. Uh, Tally's probably going to just jet out, go five straight, get out of there. She can't afford to kind of be blocked right now. But ZZ's in a tight position. Uh, pretty much only has the one hard to the left and the two, or, or the two hard to the left, too. So, um, you know, and you know, Tim knows that. Uh, so yeah. he, can, he can lock take ZZ off pretty early here. ZZ's yeah. strong, but she's not five ships strong. No, no. Yeah, I, I'm definitely worried about ZZ's positioning for sure. And the, um, you know, only having two health left, I think you just got to be cagey with the expenditure of the of the focus now for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. Zizi wishes she could probably get three actions this next turn because you probably want to rotate to the front to have an opportunity to focus fire on Grievous. But also, Grievous has an opportunity with the uh, with the position of Zizi to also turn into her and block off an escape lane with some of the boosts. Uh, something like a one bank even can give uh, Zizi enough of enough trouble maneuver wise that those drones just zoom in and uh, and try to take her out. Right, right. Yeah, and, and Grievous here has a couple options. He's probably going to just two bank to the right and then just focus because that gives him options. Um, I, I do like the, the, uh, the, the belly rub dial, but it's not it's 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 a weird dial at the same time. It's I believe it's actually similar to the old uh, 1.0 E wing. So you have that one straight, the two banks uh, that are blue. So you're missing out on the. Um, uh, the one bank blue, which would be which would be ideal in this situation uh, to guarantee Grievous shots. But um, and know, here we go. This... The aggressive moves here by the drones four straight. I'm expecting uh, three straight there. Yeah, because the uh, four would have bumped Grievous another four straight from Brown. I would expect there it is more calculates. And the drones, sorry, the bombardment drones, where are they going? And they're becoming part of the fray as well, stepping on the gas. Uh, being able to just be part of the group, keeping that group uh, together, you know, great job having with uh, that bubble range. And the two straight by Grievous. Uh, okay, so he's going to, I think uh, I think we're seeing Grievous disengage his in involvement with ZZ and now starting to pursue uh, tally. 
Yep. I mean, there's a good chance that if Tally did something, there you go. Right now is range one. It has to make a decision. Uh, could barrel roll, has barrel roll. Usually of A-wings don't use it because you can't get it for free in the chain and end up with, uh, with a token. So we'll see where Tally wants to go. I'm not even sure that the barrel roll would clear the arc. And we'll find out. Right, that's a, that's that's a tough Jeezy call. It's, to go. It's, a, it's a little close. Um, it does go for the barrel roll, and it is still in. No, it's out. Just barely out. Very nice. Just barely out. Does clear um, the hard one again. ZZ is still stressed because there was no uh, no stress last. Excuse me, is not stressed because there was no stress last turn. It now has a decision to make. Um, I mean, you probably. I mean, you you want to get a shot. So do you ev like evade, boost, take a shot, and then you get your focus. I don't. I'm not sure what the best call here is. I think, I think you focus, rotate. You stay put. Um, well, no, you can't. He could just throw Discord right on him. He got him with any of those Discord missiles. So. You know, and then he could follow it up with one more shot and zz has gone. But I don't think Tim wants to use the Discord at this case. Yeah, I think the focus, focus rotate is the right call. And, you know, again, this is going to be in this a Ray's involvement in this match is going to be important now. Got to start bringing this uh, the ship in. And no, uh, no crit rolled on the debris. Clears the stress from the Corsella trigger. After executing a maneuver, we can remove all stress tokens. Doing a boost. Takes a stress for that. And we'll have a shot at least into the green drone. If you can clear one of that ship, if you can clear that ship off the board, that does reduce the shots going into ZZ by one. Right. Right. And, and that's why it looks like, yep, there. Okay, so... As a precaution, and just in case if he loses, uh, uh, yeah, the, to lose a green from the ray shot, he is dropping that discord. It hits ZZ, so ZZ's guaranteed to take a crit uh, if he survives even this round of shooting. Yep, absolutely. The, the guaranteed damage is more important than taking the calculator at this point. And of course, like we mentioned before, network calculations is active, uh, can reach blue. So, it is time for Tom's ships to engage. I'm sure they're hoping to try to clear two ships this turn. Maybe getting Grievous and that green drone. We're going to likely be down mm -hmm. a tally as well. Oh, he's spending his second Discord. He's just taking taking Z ZZ off the board. Doesn't even have uh, to consider shooting at him. That's um, guaranteed. You know, just, just a guaranteed dead, uh, you know... Kind of an interesting call on that one, but I mean, if you can get one of those discords on Ray for the rest of the game here, uh, she can't shake them. So you know, being able to get it, keep it in the front. Mhm. Mm well, you have one left, so maybe that that's the one that Ray can end up carrying around. And here's mm -hmm. Ray's shot. We'll spend the force likely. Uh, adding the. Oh, uh, why is there a blank in there? Uh, she's using Finn. Uh, but blank. Finn's out the front only, isn't it? Yes, but if the enemy ship is in your front arc. So even though the turret is in the side, I think he measured, yep, and it would be in the front arc also. So that's why he's yeah. getting to yep, do that. that makes sense. I'm just going to read the card one more time okay. just to make sure. So uh, while yep. you defend a... Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to double check. Um, yeah. For myself, yep, and yeah, correct. This chip just needs to be in the front arc. You don't need to be firing from the front arc. So cheeky there, very nice move, and of course, being able to clear that, uh, getting two damage on the, excuse me, the green drone, not quite able to clear it yet. Pulling up with a good shot from Tally here now, trying to make sure uh, they can take at least one of these droids off the board. Misses. <laughs> when you roll natties, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. That's and now, uh, good, good, uh, good dice there. So, ZZ would spend this focus because it's guaranteed to die. Hit crit crit. 
Oh, nice. Has a reroll. Gets a focus. Spends it. Still going to take hit crit, though. There's no and impervium plating on this one. So hit uh, crit crit. Damage sensor rate and a double damage leaves him at one hole. <laughs> and that damage sensor rate really does shut down that, that ship a lot. It wants to be able to do its barrel focus most of the time, uh, the way these you know players set up this interaction. So mm -hmm. Grievous does not like being forced to only focus. All right, and end of turn. Two crits on ZZ, and ZZ is dead. Did I miscount there? One, two, three, four. Sorry. Uh, no. One, two, three, four. Yes. Grievous should be at one. Three, four, and he has five whole total. Should be at one. Excellent. That, that, that amazing Soulless One title card, given that two additional health out there, um, and and the defensive reroll capability. Such a such a powerful card for that ship and the cost of it too, because I believe it's the same cost as the uh, just the hull upgrade, or it might be only one point more, and you get two hull upgrades essentially out there. For anybody who's not entirely sure what damage sensor ray is there on Grievous, it says you cannot perform any actions except focus actions from. Uh, uh, bah. except focus actions and actions from damage cards. So Grievous could clear the uh, could clear the the damage sensor array, but of course, most of the time Grievous wants to just focus anyway. It just depends on how much he needs the booster barrel roll, at least for a while. Of course, Tally is uh, is full, but the more defensive ZZ Tolo being off the board is uh, is going to put Tom in an interesting situation. Ray, of course, has the capability to punch really, really hard, but uh, I would be worried about those bombardment drones. Right. I, I mean, I, my guess is what we're gonna we're gonna see is that actually Ray kind of turn a weird way. She does doesn't need to get Finn off, but Finn will be effective, of course. So she could just kind of like slowly start bringing her around away from these droids and start to regroup her with disease, uh, with Tally and flying in the opposite direction. And that will force that droid swarm to either, again, pick an option of completely turning around or pursuing uh, Tally. Uh, but mm -hmm. I... I've, I believe Tim is going to now take his entire force and go into Ray. He got ZZ off. Tally is not really all that much of a threat in terms of attack-wise, especially with the, her facing the wrong direction from them. Uh, so she will put can firepower in, but she's not going to herself single-handedly take one droid off the board. Um, exactly. So, yeah, so that's why I think, I think Tim will just kind of get in a position where he's going to... You know, set up the bombardment drone run and, you know, try and start putting that damage in array and then get Grievous in a safe spot that will, you know, slowly bring him back around and start shooting into Ray. I want to I want to bring up uh, something that one of our viewers asking here. They're saying uh, interesting talking point: auto damage upgrades. Do you think uh, they quote unquote dumb down the game? Uh, I'm looking at Discord's Vader, for example. No, I don't think that they dumb down the game. I think that it causes so. When you have to consider upgrades for flying, like flying is my favorite part of the game, auto damage does make you think about it more. I think that auto damage should always, of course, cost a price. And Discord, you can argue if they're too cheap. Um, that's that's not the debate we're having. I think it's adjustable. But I, 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 I'm fine with them existing, uh, if that's your, your question there. And here we go. We got the turnaround maneuvers coming from those trade federation drones ready to receive some ray that too hard was it one hard a one hard from the bombardment drone looks like a, an attempted block Ooh, but blocking himself might end up causing some issues with uh ray hitting one and not the other and being able to get a range one shot there from ray right. here comes tally uh, and hard one to the left Ooh, did Ray just clear that? Beautiful. That three left Ooh. turn. I believe Ray is still stressed from the boost last turn, so no 
actions available. But of course, Ray being a force user has the force available. Yeah, and, and also Rose too. So she's, uh, I mm -hmm. believe she already spent the lock on the last time in the green. Uh, so she's going to continue to probably, with Tally in a position to not take out green for her she'll probably continue that fire into the him or go switch target and actually go into the last droid with discord missiles since it won't trigger this round that's an important factor to consider trying to take that ship off the board early uh, additionally there's no those... calculation to protect it too. right here is a uh range one shot from tally one of the things coming up here after the bombardment going into ray here in a minute is the fact that both of those bombardment drones are going to be able to drop their prox mines out the front on uh, on ray easy peasy uh two evades there for grievous but took the additional damage that took him off the board here comes ray ray needs to make this shot count i think you go into uh something you can kill there you go going into green yeah, that, that, that's the right call. You got to take the gun off of you, like you mentioned. Both of these bombardment drones are going to fire that prox, prox mine into her. And, uh, oh, checking to see if Finn's active. Uh, uh, looks like that misses. But, uh, and the rolling of prox mines, even though it's going to overlap the other one, the player, the player that placed it gets to choose the, the target. So she's, it's going to hit Ray no matter what. Right, two agility there uh, versus three hits means that it's an auto auto hit. There was only one health left on the green anyway, so that is cleared off the board. And now there are three shots coming into Ray. And of course in the system phase, the uh, the bombs will go off. So well, let's see how many total damage Ray ends up taking here. Currently at full, hasn't taken any shield damage here. Shot number one at range one. One crit takes one damage we'll be using it to get a target lock with rose it's a mod for next turn sneaking in any damage here is important the point is to get that get the their shields off as fast as possible off right only one hit use the force for defense no damage there here comes brown range God, two you can't you you can't you can't afford to lose all these shields for off ray right now. So anything you can do to mitigate it. it, it's going to be important. Able to roll that evade and the last shot going in here. Ray hoping not to lose any more shields, but that's ooh just one hit, and Ray able to to uh, take another. And yes, with Grievous takes, completely uh, off the board, uh, zero hull there in a moment. We have a score currently of 53 to 77. Tom is in the lead, but uh, Ray is going to be taking some proximize. So we'll see if that Ray, that uh, that lead shifts here in a moment. Now, the, the, the worst feeling in the world with proximize is when they miss. Uh, you hit them. And you're guaranteed that one damage, but then you know there's no guarantee any more damage will follow up. So it is, it, it can be, it can be a little annoying if you rely on them, but you get two of them, so um, that that is a nice bonus with that. But again, the any damage is good damage for these droids right now, uh, and now the you you still have to account for this blue. Uh, Trade Federation that can still fire that last discord off and possibly put that damage into Ray and continue a crit train into her for the rest of the game. So you know, again, I, again, I think Tim Timson a is in a good spot. Uh, Ray does not like the fact that she's probably not even going to have any actions this turn uh, since she can't do anything. Of really, she can maybe too hard either direction but if she gets bumped to the right she'll probably end up on the rock which is what she doesn't want to see uh any lack of shots is is is, destru is destructive to this list right this resistance list right now so we'll probably see something that allows her to maintain shots maybe that three bank over to the rock but uh it's it's a tough call at the same time because that just allows her to kind of get boxed in All right. Well, and looks she, and she's sitting there with that stress too. So uh, mm -hmm. even if she does a blue maneuver, then none of her blue maneuvers will clear that rock. 
Uh, Jukalin asking, what was Tim's result yesterday? I can go take a peek right now. Tim, 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 Tim. Was five. He was. He would have been four and two. He would have been one of the four and twos who made it. And Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. Tim and Tom going on adventures. That sounds, you know, I, I, I'm in. I'd watch that show. <laughs> well, Tim's dropping his first prox mine here and definitely triggering it on Ray. Tom was also a four and two who got into the cut. All right, hit crit. Oh. Roll, roll, making sure it goes into the dice box. So. Yep, yep, yep. Takes the one damage. Second one. Takes another one. So that's... Did, did he take too much damage there? Because he should have only taken the one for the first prox mine. And then and, I think he and, took the other damage in advance for the second one. That's I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, because we shield. Yeah, total of three. It, it ends yeah, up right. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, good. Yeah. Who has Discord missiles left? Let's go ahead and take a Blue. look. Uh, Nick, let's go ahead and strike out. Let's see. Strike out. I mean, well, green is dead. Uh, so blue is the only one that has discords left. Little boy uh, blue. Using that, bear, bear, using that bear roll is a nice call there, uh, allowing that room to possibly even get that off in there. And look, shutting down all these lanes for Ray right now uh, by 10. <laughs> That's so saying he's... go through the rock. I did go through the rock. You like going through debris? How about this rock? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, and, and and not being able to oh, no that bump clears. There. Yeah, nice. they, they they went the same speed. They had bumped face to face before. Uh, that does clear there. Seems legit. And Ray bumps in the back. Honestly, this is the best case scenario, avoiding a couple of shots, and is going to be able to take a nice uh, range one shot into Red. Additionally, Red is also in the front arc, so that means Finn is going to trigger, even though those uh, her turret arc is pointed left right. And sh and the important thing is to take out Red now. Tally yeah, got you a gotta shot take in the Red. Ray got a shot in the Red. And otherwise, you're going to see another two sets of prox, uh, prox mines right on top of Ray, and she can't afford that right now. That's right. Here we go. Pay the bills right now, Tally. And spend the focus. Yep, you got to get aggressive here. There's two hits going into that drone. And, oh, that's going to be two evades after spending one of the calculates. Pick one. Pick one. There you go. And here's Ray going out the front. Hoping for some crits. I think that's the... I, you go into... Ah, oh man. He's probably tempted to go after one of the drones, but I'm curious to see where uh, where he goes. I see looks five like still, dice. It's still sticking to his gut call here going into red, it seems like. Yep. He can spend one of the blanks in order to get the lock moved. And he there it yellow. is. No, he's taking... Or uh, taking it off of yellow. And yeah, taking it off the red. yellow. Yep. And he, ooh, only ending up with one hit there with Ray. Should be able to evade this pretty easily. Looks like he's just going to maintain that force, kind of save it for defensive purposes or even for more offense in the following rounds. So that could that even though that it turned out to be a pretty solid move, uh, not getting that damage output from Ray was critical there. Uh, he really needed to see some solid damage going into any of those droids. Need to start pursuing the attack on her. Getting enough is enough for Tally. So, uh, you know, this, even though she spent that focus for offensive purposes, it's important, though. Like, sh this position is pretty good because of the fact that a lot of these shots are range three or even obstructed. Uh, 
doesn't gonna be out of arc. Oh, going into Ray from Brown, producing one. So that's why he he saved. He thought he had Ray. He knew he had Ray in arc with Brown there, and so he did not spend Blue's calculate at all to try and guarantee or try to get more damage into Ray. Um, you know, and only ended up getting one eyeball. Yeah, that's that. That's why the chat. chat he didn't. Uh, Tim did not spend Blue's calculate in the tally to get the two because he saw that he had a shot with Brown in the ray and just doing more damage in the rays is more important right now. And this is going to be another round of mines dropping down right on top of Ray, both proxes, that ability of those bombardment <clears throat> drones to be able to drop forward and back. It, it, it's, it's, it's really key. And these players who are flying these lists do a great job utilizing all the tools of these droids to maximize their damage output. Um, you know, even though with that early damage in the Grievous, it turned into a uh, kill box situation that took yep. ZZ off the board and allowed uh, the, you know, this droid swarm to completely turn in towards and focus on the, the, the big ship of Ray. Uh, uh, yeah, additionally, just a shout out to Tim, you know, his patience with, or his positioning and patience with the droids, because he didn't, he, while he moved fast up to the board, he slowed down a little bit in that bottom right hand corner, waited for the opportunity for Ray to come back around and was in a perfect spot to take advantage of, uh, of that positioning. So, uh, Good on him. Now, Tom, I think if we went back uh, while going in the corner, continued to pull those droids up, I think he what he needed to do was turn sooner, getting ZZ, of course, caught in that corner. Exactly. We have a memorial out there to ZZ, those two, those two buzz droids just sitting there we, <laughs> right out in space forever. But... Um, yeah, getting caught in the corner, a little bit tough. That's something we talk about a lot in X-Wing is you want to avoid getting dropped, uh, uh, caught in the corner as much as possible. Here's the first prox mine. Auto damage plus one. That's going to be plus two. Yep, there we go. Already had the the cards. And the second one gets dropped now as well. There's the first damage that you automatically get from being hit by a prox mine. Two dice are rolled. No additional damage. So that's a total of five cards on Ray being left at a total of three hull. Yeah, there it would be more concerned if Tim was down, but Tim's in a, in a good spot right now. So he's mm -hmm. okay with that even though he would love to see more damage. He's perfectly okay with that damage not happening there. And this is, again, using these droids to block Ray, trying to keep her on that rock, just trying to deny actions uh, and attacks for Ray, which is important, especially since his all of his arcs are facing uh, towards ZZ uh, Tally right now. Yep, and just a reminder to maybe anybody who doesn't know how it works. So with the prox mines, they can only trigger on one ship, and when somebody drops them, you choose the target. So you could choose your own ship, <laughs> but in that case, of course, you're going to choose your uh, the enemy ship here. Now Ray does end up on the asteroid after being blocked. One hit. Attempted the three right bank. By the way, for anybody who was wondering what the attempted maneuver was, just trying to get over the top, could not was denied by the blue drone. And not being able to fit there, getting stuck, and now uh, Tally has yet to move, so this could be a good uh, block setup or good shot setup into Tally now. And she's going to be forced to kind of try and disengage uh, in a different way than he was probably expecting. Yep. Did the one hard turn, has the arc to the back right now, taking a focus and a boost... Uh, the boost gets out of red. Still going to be taking a shot from yellow. Reminder, Ray cannot shoot because she is on an asteroid. You are not allowed to shoot while on an asteroid unless you have some type of ability that allows you to. And Ray does not have that. Here we go. The only shot that is available this turn, I believe, is going to be that yellow bombardment drone going into Tally. We got one hit. Tally should might have... have a follow-up shot here. So if he can get your yellow can get this to spend Plenty. that focus. Uh, so it doesn't look like it's going to happen anyway. So, but it, it you know the damage output's tough with those obstructed shots. So it looks like maybe Brown, Brown I mean, uh, would have this other shot. That angle looks like it might catch her. Yep. Yep.
All right, so, All right, so no even though, no damage there. Go ahead. Even so, even though uh, Tim didn't put any damage out that turn, uh, denying ray shots and even tally shots was important. So he's now going to start, you know, get, getting these, you know, he's got them on rocks. They can start rotating. They can start now uh, either finishing off ray, which I think is probably what he, he's planning on doing. And Ray is still going to be actionless no matter what she does. She's going to be continuing flying over that rock. Uh, but she, you know, we've seen Tim, even though he has one Discord missile left on that blue, he's really using blue right now as this blocker, this mm -hmm. uh, movement blocker for Ray. And we could end up seeing Ray kind of just kind of stuck again. Uh, so I would expect a lot of turns to the right with these bombardment drones and then brown and blue kind of just blocking to the lanes that Ray has possible. Yeah, just a couple of reminders. Ray does have that Ray Millennium's Falcon title. She, she can sloop while stressed. She has a, currently has one stress token, can also boost as well. And I think that's what's being anticipated here with that hard turn to the right from, uh, from that blue drone. We'll see what the next thing is. Looks like he's going to stay there. Trade Federation drain number two is staying put. What's our next move? Staying put. Oh, I think he's debating. A, a, the probably the he, rotate. He has to rotate. Yeah, he's trying to get. It doesn't look like the uh, the rotate feature is working right now. Um, overlapped. Having, I think TTS is having a couple issues here, um, so they're going to have to do the manual rotate for him uh, instead. And then, because the, what? The, oh, Actually, oh, what might what? might be that the nubs are stopping it. Oh wow! Yep. So no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that nubs. <laughs> yeah, nubs, nubs cow, nub, man. Nub, yeah, nub trouble. Nub trouble. That 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 is a thing. <laughs> you can you can bump because of nubs. Mub, uh, nubs count for movement, and uh, that 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 movement made it so that it, it uh, did not rotate. Did not could not conf complete its uh, its rotation there. Now I do gotta check to see if he still gets his action for that just with the wording so let me go take a peek at it uh, uh, i need to open one i don't think we've actually really ever seen that often the uh the being able to not being able to actually rotate looks like it might work out in his favor here now so ray not going to be able to shoot uh, or brown being able to still shoot uh, so he could get two good guns into uh, ray here and put some probably finish off ray she only got two hull left and that could be the end of it with a weapons failure mind you so ray's damage output is not she's not too happy about that mm -hmm. all right here we go going range one into the blue Uh, and like you say, yeah, the uh, weapons failure on Ray, only three. Rock. That's where the crit came from. Okay, okay. Yep. One hit. Use the rock, for, uh, the lock from Rose, gets hit crit. Has one calculate on the blue drone, taking them both. Looking for that double damage, trying to get some points on the board. And it's a whole breach. That is what I often call a blank crit because its ability is not going to matter because one more damage on that drone is going to kill it. So, if anybody ever hears it me use that terminology. To show up for last. Yep. So, like a fuel leak is another one where it doesn't really matter except for just dealing out cards if the last damage is a crit or something like that. But uh yeah, those are like those effects where it's like ah the bonus doesn't doesn't end up doing much for you. Mm -hmm. Here's range 1. Only two hole left on Ray. 
got all uh, got uh, two. Might have range one for network calculations. Yeah. Does takes two, and that is it for Ray. Let's get some F's in the chat yeah. for Ray. That it's been requested by Tom. F's in the chat for Ray, please. You know what? It ended up being the uh, not being able to fit that rotate for that Troy. It ended up being the best thing happening for Tim. Yeah, there. yeah. Know, like, oh, bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not only was it a disruption, it also it, it took her out. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it definitely was a lot. You know, you know, he's using. You know, one thing Tim's doing is you, you're seeing him use these droids really effectively for damage output uh, in terms in this game. You know, again, you know he's setting up really great kill boxes, trying to cover the field, trying to cause good blocks, and then he was able to pursue and keep falling with that damage output. You know, uh, Tom here, unfortunately, with Valley has to try and get out of a, had, had decided to try to get out of a few arcs and not being able to. Uh, rotate and start to follow up with a couple shots because you know, if there could have been a good more damage into Brown there that round, then maybe Ray survives another turn. Uh, agreed, agreed. A uh, couple of, of notes here. Uh, the Thai Aggressor squad that we saw yesterday did make it into the top eight, so I have my bold prediction of a top of a aggressors making it to the top 32 that we made on the podcast has come true and is continuing to pay dividends. Um, I I I feel feeling feeling good about my bold prediction being right uh, from the podcast. Feel, feeling good there. Uh, but yeah, right now, obviously, at this point, Tally by herself has a lot of work to do. Uh, I, I here's the thing though, with with enough time, I think Tally could honestly do it. But uh, because of the A wing chassis, I just just the points and 12 minutes, I don't think it shakes out tally has to with 48 points left on the uh for tally i mean you got to kill two and uh you can kill two drones for 50 oh yeah you got you, you got you got some work to do tally i don't know if you can kill two ships in in uh in three turns uh, it, it, it's tough she has the potential because she has proton rockets. So she can literally come in there, wipe one of them out with that with a crit generation for marksmanship. Um, but she uh, might hold be sacrificing. Hold on one second, Duke. Uh, we do have half points on uh, on blue. So actually, Tom has a, little, a few more points in that. Let's go ahead and give Tom those half points on blue. Oh yeah, yeah he producer Nick needs to uh, needs to drink damage. another cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, the damage cards like blended in with uh, the top there. I was looking for the damage cards you mentioned earlier, and I got really confused. So there they are. <laughs> but you're probably right. I should drink like five cups of coffee. <laughs> you got the toughest job. You do it great. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, there's uh, uh, turning away here. It's a tough call uh, with Tally. You're not getting that damage output. And like you said, it, it might not be enough time. If time, infinite time, we, uh, we've talked about it in other settings, they've, infinite time aces typically will outwin these these uh, swarms because they can pick the perfect engagement. Mm -hmm. But not, you're not looking at enough, you know, enough rounds in the game, uh, even with a one versus four and with, you know, with the dice going the way they have been here. Uh, right. Tally's yep, and, probably not going to really be able to push damage through. So you did see Tally take a shot there onto the yellow bombardment drone. Didn't push in any damage. Here's now the yellow bombardment drone going into Tally. This is hit crit. Tally still has a focus. It's going to be fine. So now we, we need to, we're going to do some some more maths here. So one fifty one to ninety. Uh, so that's a 60, what is that, a 60, uh, 61, 61 point lead, right? 61 point lead. So how, how can we get 61 points for Tally? Tally could get, uh, let's see, we hmm, 61. Two, two bombardment drones would do it because that would be 72. Bombardment and a drone, would that, would that get you 50? Yes, it would. It gets you exactly 61. That would be a tie. Oh, that would be a tie. 
So how about how <laughs> about Tally just just <laughs> just get the drones? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, he got to play with a sense of uh, not just not just urgency. It really it's a sense of engagement and uh, yeah. uh, ag aggressiveness at this point. Uh, and you know what we could end up seeing, and, and Tim's been shown. Uh, great strength in, in his ability to set up. We could accidentally see a quick uh, Discord missile that catches Tally off guard. Uh, and, you know, because she might have come in a little, you know, needs to come in aggressive, and then all of a sudden that's just the free damage, and the game could again swing right back in uh, Tim's favor, even if Tally starts taking off droids. All right, so um, at this point with Tally po pointing at the board edge, it's going to be tough for her to get a shot unless Tim continues to pursue with those uh, with those droids. Because of course, Tim has the option to to not to not engage if he doesn't want to, or he can uh, take the time to reconverge those drones together. We've seen those hard turns. That clears the stress. Probably going to take a focus. Uh, sorry, not focus. Calculate. There you go. Going on to said rock. Rotating. Barrel rolling off. And getting All that right. next target lock too. So. Yep, using that linked action from the bombardment drones action bar. Where, Tally, where, where are you going to go? Probably could just do a two bank here. There it is, two bank. I think the arc looks just a little bit wide of the yellow bombardment drone. Clears the stress. And out of range for a target lock, at least on blue. And they are not trading shots there. Could have been, could have been a good opportunity. Does he have a target lock out there? Uh, tally, if he, no. He, if uh, that, the, go ahead. Uh, yeah, that's why Tally has two locks on her from both the bombardment drones right now. Uh, and, you know, he, he focused there hoping maybe he could catch Brown, uh, but it was just out. And now leaving that dial open is the, is the right call because we can see a, a probably – I'm expecting he's trying to set up that explosive proton rocket damage now. So we could see this one hard. You know, this droid, these droids kind of have they, – they have to move right now, and then Tally can uh, – focus and then just boost he can't he almost can't just turn away anymore he he has mm -hmm. to start turning in agreed so we have seven minutes left in the round tally's got to get in there tally's got it in there she like you were saying she doesn't quite have the the luxury of of doing the rz2 a wing thing because at, at any point if tim turns away you you're lowering your chances of getting shots if you're going in opposite directions, of course. I know that seems obvious, but I like to state the obvious sometimes for uh, for our newer players, especially. So here's that drone coming off the uh, off the rock, but Tim seems to be choosing violence, continuing to pursue Tally into this bottom right hand corner. I love this move by Tim. So yeah, he put that droid it went too straight you know tally's probably going to one hard here either way or oh, and if she doesn't he catches her with the arc swing you know with her dial if she does a fast mover out to the right but if she does that blue is that blue trade federation with that discord is basically set up she really wants to boost she really wants to try and be in there so uh tom playing it smart realizing that he could be caught with it and just gonna avoid and, and not get too too aggressive this round and maybe right, follow so up and take right off next turn all right took that focus rotate is able gonna take is able to take a shot onto yellow only one crit will optics going aggressive here to defense size has calculate available the crit does land no shields on the yellow bombardment drone we'll find out what's in the box here in a second does the flip and it is what was that looks like a hole breach. breach all right okay that could matter if we have enough time all damage cards face up crits are bad <laughs> <laughs> of course, we have a couple of drones now taking shots here. At range three into Tally. Tally has no more defensive tokens. Here we go. Two dice. That's two on four. 
Two hits land and two oh. hits go through. Shields down. That's half points. Can the blue bombardment drone put the nail in the coffin? Let's find out. Has two calculates available for the attack. Spends for one. Another four dice defense and taking another damage there. Down to one hull. Tom is staying in this fight. He's gonna. He's playing it out. I'm always, always a fan of players who like to take it to the bloody end. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, you like, like, you know, again, Pittsburghers generally like to be a little more aggressive. So this is when you might see him try and catch him off guard and completely just turn tally right in and take something off, but go down fighting. So, um, you know, but again, Tom, you know, Tom, Tom played a Tom played pretty good, but he got trapped uh, mm -hmm. in that corner, uh, the memorial to ZZ there. So, uh, you know, losing that that a wings early on before ray before enough damage was done to any of those droids uh was critical for this game so tom tim doing a great job maintaining but <laughs> all right he, he, here's the goal goal is proton rockets all right that's the goal you get one thing tally let's go you can do it right there there's your chance to bank do it i believe in you tally get it <laughs> Get the moral, the moral victory. Take the high ground before you go. Turns oh, away. Ah, oh, I'm sad. Oh. Okay, but that's the right move. <laughs> it is. It is. All right, here we go. We're gonna have a range two shot. Takes the focus after the rotate. Oh, sorry, oh, uh, before the rotate. Go. Going Jim, into blue. Jim's call. Jim, oh, I guess. Uh, nope. Never mind. He's not gonna fire the Discord. He is not hit crit going into the blue one. Has one calculate we're going to take a crit and that does clear blue off the table bringing it 175 to 102 tom's going to keep playing little by little and we'll check for the shots red bombardment drone does have a shot this being a target lock calculate uh so there's you know two hits pretty good Mm -hmm. Tally did not have to spend the focus on the last shot and is able to roll out of it. Tom's going to keep moving quickly, I think, and uh, and keep pushing. So right now he's, uh, he, he's, he's clipping. 73 points are needed to win, so he needs a minimum of two turns. He has to have two turns in order to have a chance because yeah, you're, you're, you're digging for a, a next turn two double damages on uh on one of the bombardment drones and then you ace the brown one and that's how you get the win i and, and i mean if he takes out with those I, with actually no sorry reach, he gave up half he gave up half points that's not possible never, never mind <laughs> you got to take out both both the drones now. yeah yeah I mean, he has to – what he's reaching for now is he gets a fuel leak into uh, yellow, and then that just chains out into a, 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 a from two damage into a dead yellow on one shot. Then has to somehow you know take out the other one or, again. But they're going to be able to corner tally this turn. Mm-hmm. And there we go. Doing the rotate – on the rock, tally hard twoing towards the corner. Probably Should take an evade at this point. Shots this round. All right, gonna go ahead and bear, uh, barrel roll. Picking his options for the barrel. Yep. So no token here. Just going for shots. Trying to dig into that whole breach. One hit. Versus two calculates plenty available safe. And this could be the final shot here with Brown at range two with no mods for tally. And that will the, do it. Yeah, yeah, the crit goes through. Done. Well, congratulations to Tim making it into the top eight. And of course, thank you to Tom. Thank you to Duke of Hobbies for hanging out with me. Uh, for